Hello folks. In this video, I'm going to show you how to recreate your Google Form checkboxes and multiple choice questions in your HTML based custom user interface. Uh, we're going to accomplish that by using HTML checkboxes and radio button input types. It's really simple HTML today, nothing else. This is a follow up to videos I have previously posted, which show you how to create a custom UI for a Google Form and how to suppress Google's default submission confirmation page for a Google Form. If you haven't watched those videos or you believe yourself to need to you know, start at square one, if you're a beginner, I'd suggest just starting with my video titled Google Form Custom UI. It's on this YouTube channel and there's a direct link below. I can verify that the content of those videos is still accurate as of today. Okay, since posting those first two videos, I've had a lot of questions where, you know, certain folks will just need like one or two little tips, little piece of it, pieces of advice in order to kind of extend this to cover everything that exists within their use case. Uh, my video was really just intended to get people started, but obviously if it's just intended to get people started, it's naturally gonna cause questions. I've tried to answer as many people as possible or to follow up with people, um, but it hasn't always been possible. So today I'm just gonna make a video I'm gonna show you how to do checkboxes and multiple choice questions of a Google form in your custom UI. And then if I have time later, I'll follow up with answers to some more common questions. So let's get started. On the screen, you'll see my demo form. And I've already uh, created a multiple choice question here called pick a vehicle type. Uh, you can see that is specified as a multiple choice question in the Google form and I've given it the options, the answer options of car and truck. So this type of question, I'll ask someone to pick a vehicle and they can pick car or truck. The next question is a checkboxes question. And my question is just to pick a media type. So it's not a very good question, but I give the answers of tape, yeah. CD, and vinyl. So if you were to interpret that as what types of you know music media do you still use, I would check vinyl and proceed. So the big question, how do we recreate this in our HTML custom UI for our Google form? On your screen, you'll see a web browser presenting the current iteration of my demo form page. Over on the right hand side, you'll see that I did clean up the code a little bit to make it more presentable, a little bit easier for you to read when you're watching this on a video. Uh, within my form code block here, the text input block is the original questions that we are asking that just are expecting a text response. The next code block is for the radio button demonstration, uh, which is our pick a vehicle type question from the Google form. I've simply recreated that in HTML and I've done the same with the pick a media type uh, checkboxes question. You'll see that these two types of uh, input types are almost identical or can be identical with the exception of just the declaration of what type they are, whether they are type radio or type checkbox. In the radio buttons code block, you'll see the label represents the question you are asking, and each input type is a possible response. There are two radio responses here, one representing car and one representing truck. You'll see that throughout this block of code, I am referencing entry dot and then the entry number. As you'll recall from uh, the first video, we get these by inspecting the source code of the Google form. The label needs to be set as for that entry ID. And then in each of the input types, the ID and name should be set to those entry IDs. And then that's really it. Everything should function for your radio buttons and your checkboxes, just the way everything else would if you followed along with the steps in that first video, uh, the Google Form Custom UI video. So let's give our demo form a whirl, shall we? What is your favorite color? I'm going to go with space gray today because I'm staring at it and I am not original. I'm going to go with dog is my favorite animal because it is. Pizza is always a solid choice. For a vehicle type, I'll go with truck. And for media type, I'll go with vinyl and CD. 
oh good, my confirmation page works. That was the topic of the part two video. So we know that that code still works. Now let's see if we have our entries in our Google Sheet. Of and sure enough, there it is. Uh, the two blank lines were just from me having some dummy data in there before, but uh, favorite color, space gray, favorite animal dog, favorite food, pizza, vehicle type truck, and media type CD, comma, vinyl. But let's go back and do this just one more time. So I'm gonna hit my back button and refresh. Uh, this time I will type tan as my favorite color, bird as my favorite animal, ice cream as my favorite food, and I'll just go with car and CD and tape uh, just to be different. And again, our confirmation code works. That's fantastic. Now let's look at the submissions in the Google Sheet. And there we have it. My responses are there yet again. So that really is all there is to it. If you don't need any more, great, the video can end now. If you're sticking around, I'll do a quick demo of a new question so you'll see how to do it yourself. Okay, on my form, I'm gonna go ahead and just add a new question. I am going to put, what is your favorite season? Luckily, autocorrect can spell better than I can. And let's make this multiple choice. And we'll put spring, summer, fall, and winter. Cool. So we have our question. We have our four multiple choice options. Now, remember, all we need to do is create a pre filled link. So we do that by going to our three little dots up here, get pre-filled link. That's fantastic. Here it is, and you can see our new question is, what is your favorite season? All right, this time around, we aren't gonna fill out anything in the pre-filled link. We're really just getting the link. Uh, so we can copy that link. I'm gonna open it in Chrome just because I prefer that user experience. Uh, you can use the browser of your choice. Okay, so I have the link to the form and I need to find Google's entry ID for this question, what is your favorite season? All right, so I'm gonna do that by inspecting elements this time. There's more than one way to do it. I just feel like this way is the quickest for me these days. And as you go down your page, you'll see it selects each of the elements and uh, highlights some information over on the right-hand side in the console. Uh, that is the code that is associated with that element. So I'll go over to the right here and let's inspect this uh, dropdown a little bit further of this element. Uh, we open that one. Yeah, I don't see an element ID yet. Let's open this one. Nothing there. You know what, I think it is in the JS controller here. Yeah, here we go. So the entry number here is listed. I'm gonna copy that. And then all we need to do is bring it over to our uh, HTML code and implement it there. Okay, so looking at the HTML on the right, I just need to recreate the favorite season question in the HTML that we see here. And that was a radio button question, right? Uh, multiple choice. And on our Google form, it's the last question. So I'm gonna start here. And let's start out by just creating a comment. And let's call it uh, fave season. And we can close that comment. And I'm just gonna paste that entry ID in here right now. Uh, and we don't need the underscore sentinel at the end. We just need what is there on the screen now. Okay, so I have my entry number. I need a label for the question. And then I need the four input types of radio for each of the four seasons. So let's get started. Uh, first, we will just create the label. 
And the label is going to be pick your favorite season. All right. And after that label, we're going to want a line break. And let's get our input types in real quick. So input uh, type equals radio. And we're going to need four of those. But let's first actually set their names and IDs. So name equals ID equals and then each will have a value and let's just copy and paste that to get our four instances now let's set the value to the first one as spring second one is summer third one is fall fourth one as winter. And again, those values need to match the uh, values that you specified in the Google form. If you don't, it will not work. Uh, now we need to add labels to each of these. So that's going to be label and then the labels, each one of them will have a four. Sorry, four. And this one is going to be for spring. And the label itself is going to be spring. And then we do need a line break after that. So let's just copy this, put it after summer, change the four to summer, and the label itself to summer. Do the same thing again with another copy and paste and change the values to fall. And let's do the same thing again and set the values to winter. Okay, so let me review this real quick. We are asking to pick a favorite season. You know what, our scratch uh, data can get deleted out of there. We're asked to pick our favorite season, then we're given radio options for all of the inputs and all of the inputs are labeled. Oh, you know, I didn't put the, what that label was for up here. So we want to add that. Oops. And we need that entry ID to paste in there. So let me just grab that real quick. All right, so now the label is for that entry that corresponds with our, our Google form. And the input types are radio. All the IDs match. All the names match. The values appear to be the same as I typed in Google. And the labels match the values in all four cases. Okay, I think we're good to go. I'm going to save this HTML page in my browser. I'm going to hit back to the form. And I'm going to refresh that. And let's try this again. What is my favorite color? I'm going to hit submit form. Whew, our confirmation page still works. Now let's look at our submissions in the Google Sheet. And there you have it. Uh, we're getting all of our answers through correctly, including our latest question based on a multiple choice question in Google Forms of what is our favorite season? My spring is showing up in my responses. So it looks like we've done it. Again, I hope to make more of these follow-up videos to explain answers to more of the questions I've received over the past year. Uh, but for now, hopefully this does the job for anyone looking to do check boxes or radio buttons in HTML, uh, which correspond to the checkboxes and multiple choice questions in Google Forms. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope it was helpful. Have a great day. Thanks and take care.